The DRDO has conducted two consecutive successful flight tests of very short-range air defense system missile from a ground-based man-portable launcher against high-speed unmanned aerial targets that mimicked approaching and receding enemy aircraft, and all the targets were successfully intercepted, and the test met all mission objectives. The RDO's very short-range air defense system is a man-portable air defense system being developed for the Indian Army, that is meant for neutralizing low-altitude aerial threats at short ranges of 8 kilometers. A limited series production Tejas Light Combat Aircraft has successfully flight tested an indigenous power takeoff shaft developed by Chennai based Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment, which is a critical equipment that transmits power from aircraft engine to the gearbox. The indigenous PTO shaft will also support the requirements of future fighter jet and their variants, and offers competitive cost and reduced time of availability as compared to imported system. In association with the RDO Labs, Hyderabad-based Swire Robotics has developed the country's first quadruped robot and a wearable exoskeleton. The quadruped robot is designed for traveling in unstructured terrains to enable remote reconnaissance and inspection for the military, in environments that are otherwise unsafe for human operation, while the exoskeleton will increase strength of soldiers to carry logistics with little exertion. The DRDO developed D4 drone system has been going through intensive trials across the country, and it will soon enter mass production by private sector firm Adani Defense to be deployed across the vulnerable western border with Pakistan. It can take out micro drones at 4 km by jamming the command and control links, and it is also equipped with a laser system that can take out targets at 1.25 km. Under a contract signed in January 2022, the Swedish firm Saab has announced that it will start deliveries of 84 CS single-shot anti-armor weapon to the Indian Army and Indian Air Force in third quarter of 2023. The 84 CS weighs around 9 kilograms, and has an effective range of 200 meters, and offers a tandem warhead with a breach or blast mode, which is optimized to destroy structures and armored vehicles. The Indian government has quietly begun to build a holistic naval base on Great Nicobar Island, which stands squarely overlooking the entrance to the Malacca Straits, that is less than 90 miles from the tip of Indonesia. The Indian Ocean lines of communications imports over 65% of China's oil dependency, and due to this deep vulnerability, China would tread cautiously on the line of actual control. A U.S. Navy replenishment ship Matthew Perry has docked at Larsen and Tubro's Catapali shipyard for undergoing repairs, that will be completed by 29th March. Warships from other friendly foreign countries have also begun utilizing Indian shipyards and naval dockyards for repair and refit of their platforms, which has enhanced the prospects of an export-driven Indian shipbuilding industry. <laughs> That's it.